Hey, what's up, everyone? And I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. So over the past few days, I've just been thinking about Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch console. I can't believe the console is just pretty much seven years old by the time, you know, March makes its way here. And I've just been thinking over it for a while. And it made me realize how much time has been going by so, so fast. But not as fast as you press the subscribe button and notification bell for more gaming content here on this channel. Then the reason why I bring this up is because Nintendo is sitting in a weird position when it comes to where it stands in the console race between its competitors. Because the Nintendo Switch came in the midst of the PS4 and the Xbox One um, life cycle. And that was because of the placement of the Nintendo Wii U. Now, I've always said that the Wii U is similar to the Sega Dreamcast because the Wii U is a pretty good console. And so was the Sega Dreamcast. And it just died the death that I feel as though it did, it didn't deserve because there was a, quite a few gems that could be found on Nintendo Wii U, but Nintendo had to make a decision as fast as possible because they couldn't maintain any of the growth or sales. Nintendo 3DS was pretty much holding Nintendo together when it came to its competition. So they had to come up with the Nintendo Switch and they had to put it together and assemble it right away. So the Nintendo Switch had came in just at a weird time. So now when you just fast forward, you look at the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch is pretty much past its life cycle and it's about time that Nintendo you know, pretty much release its next generation console. But at the same time, Nintendo is sitting good when it comes to its software and hardware sales. So would it make sense for Nintendo to just release new hardware in the midst of its success? Now. It's really hard to answer that question because on one end, why introduce new hardware where your current hardware is sitting pretty much pretty at the moment. But then on the other end, me as a gamer, the hardware is dated at this point. So it's quite frustrating for me when it comes to Nintendo complete silence about their plans for next generation hardware. Now, I speak about this on my stream over about a week ago to where I said that Nintendo Switch's hardware is holding back a lot of these titles. For example, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, despite it being an amazing game for the console, I truly believe Monolith Soft could have made an even more expansive world with more powerful hardware than what Nintendo Switch could produce. We had The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom coming just around the corner, and despite the game looking really good on the Nintendo Switch, we know there will be sacrifices needed in order to achieve the visual fidelity that the game presents itself with. It comes at a cost of frame rate reductions, texture pop-ins, or anything else you know working in the background we already seen what the most recent uh pokemon open world games has produced now i know that's more so incompetency on the developers but it still doesn't disregard the fact is that the nintendo switch is working really hard to be able to create these expansive worlds and new hardware is definitely needed now even though i know a potential next gen hardware is coming but not knowing when it's coming or not even a simple announcement is quite exhausting. Nintendo about a month or two ago reported that they were ramping up production for more Nintendo Switch consoles. Now, this doesn't make sense to me at all. This is just telling me one of three things with the decisions. Either A, Nintendo is planning to run the Nintendo Switch for a long haul and have no plans for next generation hardware anytime soon, or B, Nintendo needs time so they could create a system that could integrate the Nintendo Switch's ecosystem over to the new hardware, which makes transitioning over to the next hardware much easier. So Nintendo can pretty much maintain the momentum they have without having to reset with their new hardware. So what I'm trying to get at is that they probably are coming up with a superior backwards compatible model. So consumers doesn't have to feel the pressure of going to grab new hardware because games will still continue to release on the old hardware. But if you play it on the new hardware, it will be a dramatic boost in the game's graphics and performance. And of course, option C. Now, option C is a little far out there and it's just speculation on my part and could be completely wrong. So don't pretty much come attack me or say, hey, you were wrong. I'm just saying this is just my speculation. Um, pretty much what if the next generation hardware isn't a Nintendo Switch 2? What if the next N Nintendo console is just a traditional console and has the power and that's equivalent to the PS5 and the Xbox Series X? And maybe the reason why they are ramping up production for the Nintendo Switch is because the Nintendo Switch will remain as their handheld and eventually do incremental upgrades throughout the years. Eventually, Nintendo Switch Lite models could be the only model for Nintendo Switch's future, like a Pro Lite with the OLED screen or something. Like I said, 
that may not be the case since Nintendo masterly blended both home console and portable into one, but Nintendo is Nintendo and they oftentimes make decisions we disagree with. This is definitely an option that's left on the table, so don't put it past Nintendo to not think of something like this. Nintendo most certainly have to announce something if the rumors were true. If you don't know, there was a rumor that dropped that Nintendo has nothing to present during the E3 window because for the rest of the year, Nintendo will have nothing really heavy to release after the release of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, that has me a little worried because it sounds like Nintendo Switch is running its end, but Nintendo's messaging says otherwise. We do have games like Bates and Kaido's Remastered, Deca Police, Octopath Traveler 2, and Pikmin 4 sprinkle in there, but everything else is left a mystery for the console. Now, I do wish for a more powerful hardware from Nintendo because Nintendo is always in this position where they always one step behind the competition when it comes to power. Now, I know power isn't in everything, but I would love Nintendo to have a much beefier console again. I don't want Switch to just be regulated to just only first party games like many other Nintendo platforms in the past after the SNES. Nintendo has, has been doing good maintaining third party support since the beginning of the Nintendo Switch's life, but how long can they keep that up as we head farther into the PS5 and the Xbox Series X life cycle? As the games become pretty much more advanced, third party developers will pretty much ditch the Nintendo Switch and move on to better hardware. The Nintendo Switch would just consist of first party games and uh, indie games and shovelware. Now I want to be able to step into a store and say hey. I will grab the Nintendo Switch version or the Nintendo version of this third party multi-plat game instead of the PS5 and Xbox Series X because let's be real, third party versions, multi-plat versions of games are inferior um, console versions unless you love the portable aspect and being able to take it anywhere on the go then there's no other reason to get the Nintendo Switch version. I keep my Switch docked all the time. I hardly take it out the house or play it portable. So my Switch is just regulated to Switch exclusives, which sucks because I would love to play third-party multi-plat games on the console, but it's just not a smart option for me. Just want to make this clear though, I love the Nintendo Switch console. If you see my room, I have a library of Switch games, which outnumber both my PS5 and Xbox Series X games. Switch has the RPGs that I enjoy, and that's why they just continue to keep me coming back um, for more, along with their first parties that I do enjoy as well. So I thank them for that, but come on Nintendo, what's your game plan for the future of the company and its console? So that pretty much wraps up this video. I definitely wanna hear your thoughts. What is Nintendo planning? You know, like this is the most frustrating time for me because normally Nintendo will come out with a game plan or there's always been rumors and speculation that we're gonna hear an announcement for a next gen console, but Nintendo has been really, like really, really good at keeping information closed shut. Every person that said that we was gonna get a pro version of the Switch, it never happened. Not saying it will, it will never happen, but it never came at the time it's supposed to come. And now we starting to, I'm starting to think, you know, did they decide to scrap it and just say, let's just move on to the next hardware because we are on the seventh year of this console. So does it make sense to do a pro at this point? So I definitely want to hear your thoughts. What are your whole thoughts on Nintendo Switch as a console? And what do you think about its life cycle? Do you think it still has some more years left in it to pump out or do you think it's time to move on to the next hardware and do you think the next hardware is going to be a nintendo switch 2 or where do you or do you think it's going to be a traditional console leave your thoughts in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video hit that like button because it definitely helps me in the algorithm and also hit that bell to be notified for more gaming news and updates this is moogan lord sign off i'll see you game fuse later peace out